Uh, well, for the chances, I think uh, any team can beat any team on a day uh, who play well. Uh, our job is to play good cricket. Uh, that's what. That's why we are here, and we have shown in in Oman as well. Uh, yes, of course, uh, in associate cricket, we don't face uh, that quick bowlers. Uh, but, you know, we, we train uh, for that and we have already well prepared for facing them. Yeah, Mataka, uh, obviously, to be facing an uh, opponent like India in a, such a big stage for the first time, would it be sort of intimidating to be against the likes of Virat Kohli and the Rohit Sharmas, the K. Rahul's? Yeah, it's actually our uh, second time, not first time. Uh, in 2018, uh, in 50 or format, we have done really well. Uh, we lost by like 20 runs. Uh, and uh, this time, if you are in that position, we're going to make sure that the mistake which we did uh, in last uh, India game, we make sure that we don't do here and we finish the game off. देखिए हम तीन माह से हम टूर पे हैं और हम वेल प्रिपेयर है इसके लिए Uh, जैसा कि हमारा जैनी लीग बी फिफ्टी और टूर्नामेंट हमने खेला फिर उसके बाद टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप क्वालिफायर जिम्बाब्वे में खेला इसके बीच में हमारे प्री टूअर्स आए और uh, हमारी प्रिपरेशन बहुत अच्छी थी और वो हमने शो किया है uh, ओमान में और हमारा यही uh, इधर गोल है कि हम फाइव टेन परसेंट अच्छा करें ऑल डिपार्टमेंट में फील्डिंग बैटिंग एंड बॉलिंग में एंड आई एम श्योर के वी विल पुट अप अ गुड शो Uh, winning and losing uh, is a part of the game. A part of the game. Uh, as long if we play our best cricket, uh, that's the most important thing. And obviously, playing against India and Pakistan, it's a massive opportunity for everyone. Uh, we need to make sure that we need to learn from them. Uh, and moving forward, I'm sure that we will play more uh, Test nations, especially uh, uh, in T20 World Cups as well. Moving forward. And we have a very young squad, and I think this is a learning uh, process for us. Uh, this is Satish from Gulf News. How important are these tournaments for the associate nations, and how do what do you think is the gap between the bigger teams and the associate nations now in vis-a-vis -vis after the T20? I think the gap is the opportunities. Uh, we we get less opportunities, and I think this is the uh, opportunity for any associate team, especially for us. You know, we need to make sure that uh, we need to uh, capitalize on these two games, and we need to show to the world that uh, we are good enough to play uh, big big teams uh, and regular basis. If ICC, you know, can increase a bit more teams, would have been better for associate cricket to grow grow the game. देखिए हर गेम में जो 
अच्छा खेलता है उसके चांसेस होते हैं जीतने के और टी ट्वेंटी ऐसा फॉर्मेट है कि शॉर्ट फॉर्मेट है इसमें दो दो ओवर बैटिंग में अच्छे लग जाते हैं या दो ओवर बॉलिंग में अच्छे हो जाते हैं तो इसमें गेम का थोड़ा सा क्विक टर्न अराउंड हो जाता है चेंज हो जाती है गेम तो हमारा तो यही हो गया कि हम बीस ओवर बॉलिंग में अच्छा करें और बीस ओवर बैटिंग में अच्छा करें तो होपफुली रिजल्ट अच्छा आएगा Um, yeah, that was obviously a long time ago, but um, obviously you've spoken about the opportunity these guys have here over the next three days. Um, you don't get an, op an, op an opportunity often to play India and Pakistan in, in the space of three days, so it's an amazing opportunity. It's a, it's, it's a great achievement what these guys have, have done and, and achieved so far. But I suppose it's about them going out and playing their best cricket. I don't think anyone in world cricket expects us to beat India in 24 hours' time, but there's 20 guys down there ready to train that expect they can. Um, you know, we realise that we've got to play some good cricket. Um, got to have a bit of luck go our way. Um, and T20 format can allow you to do that. So um, it's about going out there and enjoying yourself, um, showing the world that you can play good cricket and cricket Hong Kong deserve to be at this stage. Yeah, my question is because you get it, Uh, what do you think uh, it's a, it's for the other big teams in Asia, like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh? Do you think it should be more extent of visits, at least in the Chile level, between the two countries? So, uh, well, yeah, I think, well, obviously, the, the, the schedule's pretty hectic for the senior team and, and that sort of stuff, we all understand that, but the exposure that we would get to playing in India and Pakistan would be huge for these guys, um, and only promote cricket in Hong Kong as well. So. You know, every opportunity we get to play any format of cricket or against any opposition, um, it's always a good promotion for, for Cricket Hong Kong. So, um, you know, the next three days are going to be that and, you know, we're going to get out there and, and enjoy ourselves and, and, and put a, a very good foot forward. How would you describe the participation in the qualifying basket? Because even off weekend, you couldn't beat the home team. So how would you describe that journey? Well, I think it was a culmination of three months of hard work, really. Um, we've been on tour since June the 1st. Um, and we probably, if we're honest with ourselves, haven't played the best cricket, but we certainly did when we were in Oman, um, and the results reflect that. Um, the guys played three complete games of cricket. Um, we know we're going to have to go another couple of levels to compete with the guys that we're playing with in the next three days. But that's very possible in this group. Um, they believe in themselves, they go out and execute their plans, they play positive cricket. Um, and I think it's a great opportunity for world cricket to see how good, how good Cricket Hong Kong is. Trent, uh, if you could just elaborate on your experience with uh, working with a team that has three players with different backgrounds and multi-cultures, nature of the Hong Kong team, I mean, have you picked up some new groupings? I know you have to ask the skipper that, it's probably not that good. Um, listen, I think they've, they've been very welcoming for me over, you know, well, I've been here three years, so it's it's been an up and down journey with COVID and, and those sorts of things and the amount of cricket that we've played over that period of time. But um, I've challenged the group a lot from a from a training point of view and a performance point of view, and the guys have met that, especially in the last couple of weeks or last week in Oman. So to give these guys the opportunity to play here at the Asia Cup and play against the number one three ranked team in the world is an, is an amazing opportunity. So. Um, yeah, we've struggled with the language barrier here and there, but um, you know it's something that we overcome. And you know, there's a few blank faces when I'm standing in front of them talking about analysis or plans or anything like that. So, um, but listen, uh, their work ethic is phenomenal, um, and they'll go out and compete over the next three, next two nights against the the best teams in the world. Coach, where, where do you think the opportunity lies, especially against you when know, you're playing against the class side? Uh, would it be boarding, would it be batting, because they are exceptionally playing exceptionally well? Um, yeah, I think that's a, that's a great question. Um, I think we've got to worry about our own game. Um, we obviously know that they're a quality outfit, that's why they're ranked number one in the world. Um, they've got class one to 17, whoever they want to pick from. Um, but it's about us getting out there and executing our plans, and if we can do that, well then, we're giving ourselves the best chance to win the game. So, we all know where, you know, uh, Weaknesses lie with their batting and bowling. Um, it's about us now getting out there and being consistent enough for 40 overs and, and try and challenge those weaknesses. Um, 
So, you know, if we can do that, and like I said, a bit of luck goes our way, um, you know, we could be right in the game. So, and if that's the case, um, from what I've seen with the guys over the last week in Oman, they certainly can, can tackle that and, and, and take that challenge forward. Thank you, and all the best. Thanks. Last one, yeah. Captain, uh, how important is this kind of matches for you, knowing there are so many T20 leagues also coming up, which can be good exposure for your players, and how important are these matches? In that context? Uh, it is very important. Uh, of course, these are the opportunities uh, for individual as well. If they perform in that, you know, they can put up their hands into big leagues as well. And we have we have uh, players that they can uh, play in uh, franchise cricket. And this is the time which they can show themselves how good they are. And rest it, it will care itself. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This way. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.